Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and today we're going to be taking a look at the HCS winter coatings compared to the watchdog coating because if you didn't know, there's actually a lot of controversy around these two weapon coatings for a good reason. Let's go ahead and dive in. Alrighty guys, so if you didn't know, you could actually get these cool looking winter HCS coatings just by watching the HCS stream that I believe went on last weekend. So all you had to do was watch the stream for 3 hours and you would get the BR winter coating and the sidekick, the AR. All this was through Twitch drops which was pretty cool. But the reason people are so angry about this is because the HCS winter coating looks pretty much identical to the watchdog coating. The only difference is that they added a couple blue spots and even then it's not very noticeable. If you look in game it actually does look very identical to the watchdog coating. So the only way you could get the watchdog coating was by grinding to max rank in Halo 5 which was not an easy task. I was actually one of those people who grinded all the way to max rank and it is extremely time consuming and that is why a lot of people are frustrated and annoyed about this and just disappointed really that they would do this so soon. Um, honestly, I'm going to be honest, I'm not surprised this has happened. I was actually kind of expecting this to happen eventually because that's just kind of how free-to-play games work. They just make basically a couple changes to a few skins just to try to make like the most amount of money they can out of these skins. That's basically what they did here. Granted, it was for free through uh, Twitch drops, but it just screwed over the people who, you know, grinded to max rank and that's why people are so annoyed about this. It's as if 343 just punched us in the gut and just slapped us around basically for being dedicated fans and grinding their game. It's unfortunate that it's come to this stage. I think the only solution that, that could have happened here was for them to be more creative with their skins. But once again, like I said, free to play games just try to make the most out of their skins and try to make the most money. So I'm not surprised, but I am surprised that it's happened this soon and the fact that they did it with the watchdog coding is even more of a punch to the gut. It's actually pretty funny as well because they did this with the uh, Game Pass Ultimate uh xbox br or whatever it's called it's like a green metallic skin and it looks almost as identical to the razor keyboard skin i think it's from the razor keyboard um but yeah you would get like this green coating i believe from the razor keyboard it was the razor keyboard or the mouse i don't know it was like one of those but yeah the point is you'd get like this green coating which i'll show you guys right now and then we're going to compare it to the xbox ultimate one and as you can see it has like the same exact pattern but the only difference is that the Xbox Game Pass one is more metallic, which in my opinion is a lot more different compared to the Watchdog one. Um, I wish they would have like done it that route. Maybe they just made it look, um, I don't know, just like a base, more basic red, white, and uh, blue. But nope, they just kind of like slapped on a couple blue spots, and yeah, that's why people are frustrated about this. You may actually be surprised, but 343 has actually done this in the past. And so I want to throw out some examples out here. So if you, we go back to uh, Halo 5, they actually had a cool Helio Skrill armor set that was like a mix of Spartan and Elite. It's supposed to look like Spartan Elite armor, basically. And so the only way you would be able to get this back then is by completing all the campaigns in MCC on Legendary. That included 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, Reach and ODST didn't count because those were like DLCs or something. Well, Reach didn't even exist during that time, but ODST, um, yeah, that was more of a DLC, so it didn't really count. And so once you've done that, you would be able to get this Helios Grill armor set, and it actually looked pretty sick. I really liked it. It was awesome being able to wear it and show off that you actually got something by, you know, doing something in the game instead of just buying packs. So eventually... 343 added the Helio Skrill armor set to the rec packs. Not only did they add the basic one, but they actually added like three other variants, I believe. And so it was so much easier to get now. And for the people who, you know, grinded those campaigns, played on Legendary, the people who were really dedicated to the game once again got backstabbed. Now, it may sound a little over dramatic saying backstab, but it really just feels that way. As if they just didn't really care about their dedicated fans that did this kind of stuff. And so it was sad to see that happen. And there was also another moment that it was about to happen again. If we go back to MCC when they were still doing, I think, like the seasonal updates. I forgot which season it was, but it was around the time when they were bringing the exchange shop to MCC. There was a time where you could actually play a ranked playlist that was called like Recon Slayer. I think it was Recon Slayer or like Recon SWAT or something. 
Anyways, the point is, is that it was a ranked playlist, and you had to get to rank 20 in order to unlock this avalanche skin now of course there was a lot of matchmaking issues with mcc and that's why people were kind of annoyed that this was locked at rank 20 but honestly i think that's more of a matchmaking issue that's not an issue with the reward itself anyways regardless you know people who grinded up to 20 and dedicated their time into like playing their game and doing this just to get the reward only to see it later be added to the exchange shop was really disheartening not only was it added to the exchange shop, but I think it was only like a measly five tier points. And so literally anyone could basically get it. At the very least, if they were going to add it to the exchange shop, I personally would have had it be like 20 tier points at the very least because man, dude, that's like, that's just sad. Once again, punch to the gut by 343 for being dedicated to their game. It was unfortunate seeing that happen, but there was a good note or rather a good, a good thing that happened because 343 did decide to take it out because people were you know obviously saying that you know that's just messed up and stuff and so they did actually take it out so i will give credit to them there and so it hasn't been in the shop ever since um they did mention i believe that they were going to add it later on but that hasn't happened at all um i don't know if later down the line it'll get there but uh yeah i haven't seen it at all at all so that was a pretty good ending i would say um you know they took it out and yeah everybody was pretty happy I know there's people who were a little upset about it because they did want to be able to, you know, get this skin. And instead of putting it in the exchange shop, they could have just had like a rotational playlist for it. They could have just added, what was it, like Recon Slayer? I don't remember the exact playlist, but they could have just had it be rotational so that way people can earn it like over time or something like that. You know, there's like so many other ways you could solve this instead of just adding it in the exchange for like five points. And so now we're back to Halo Infinite, and it feels like, you know, we're just doing this all over again. It's kind of messed up um, that, you know, these people who pour time into their game that they've created um, be kind of just, you know, backstabbed like this, really. It, it feels, it doesn't feel great at all. And once again, I'm not surprised that this has happened. I'm just surprised that it's happened so soon, because I feel like they could have done something else. They could have made it more basic for the HCS Winter coding. They could have just made it be... Um, I don't know, they could have, I mean, they could have at least tried to make it, like, more, add more blue to it, add more red to it, I don't know, it's, it really sucks. Anyways, guys, that's the HCS winter coatings compared to the Watchdog coatings, and, and, and why this isn't 343's first time doing this kind of stuff, um, it's unfortunate seeing this, I mean, it makes me feel like I shouldn't even dedicate time to their game if they ever do, like, some kind of timed reward like this, um, for playing their game, because, who knows, maybe later on they'll just freaking give it out for free and it's like man i just dedicated all that time for nothing i might as well just wait for it to be you know free later i hope 343 learns from this if 343 ever does something like this again like let's say if they add firefight in the future and like there's some kind of weird firefight challenge where you have to uh complete a firefight set on mythic or something mythic difficulty um and you get like a cool weapon skin i hope they don't like make the same mistake um and just like put it out for free later or in the shop later it's really unfortunate because i'm not sure if they're gonna do that again with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching consider subscribing and liking as it shows your support and i'll see you guys on the next one peace